more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. I ain't top billing. I saw where your man Jaron Reed is being switched to the nose tackle position. In his return to Seattle, that man is going from being an outer exterior defensive lineman to being right up on the center, shaded. That's hard. You talking about getting your five best players on the field at once, moving Jaron Reed to a nose tackle position, although we don't know how it'll play out, although I believe it will play out very well, is just hard, <laughs> straight up, man. Think about this, right? As a matter of fact, check out what your man Al Woods had to say. All right, so former Seattle Seahawks nose tackle, cat probably 330 pounds, probably a legit 25, 30 pounds heavier than a Jaron Reed. I've been looking at him talking about playing for them Jets, baby, out here in Jersey. My man said, I was in a 3-4 for a long time, and I was tired of catching and reading. I would stand on the sideline and watch other teams play and think, I want to play like that. That stuff looked fun. <laughs> All right, so you know, there you have it, right? Coming out of an odd front scheme there, he was having to catch and read, which is walling and discarding what I say all the time, right? He's got to be able to stand his man, right? Work on the stand your ground law and then react from there. A lot of the teams, which you guys should know, right? One gap penetrating type team. They snapped the ball. You're responsible for your gap, but you're responsible for playing the run on the way to the passer. The Seattle Seahawks playing a little bit more conservative uh, with a guy like Al Woods. Um, as you can see right there, he wasn't really having it, right? I think that might be, I don't know, sour grapes or something like that. Well, I'm not going to say that, right? This is this, this guy's career. I don't fashion Al Woods to be some type of uh, Chris Jones or somebody like that out there, right? My um, man is meant to catch and reach 330 something pounds. He's not the quickest cat. He's very stout, no doubt about that. But Jaron Reed, a whole different breed, right? Y'all remember Jaron Reed originally? As a matter of fact, let's check out a couple of clips here. I won't keep you long. All right, here we go. Old school, right? It was the first year that I covered the Seattle Seahawks. It was the 2020 season. And uh, you can see Jaron Reed in his normal post, right? Outside shoulder of the guard, he's your three technique. Now he's going to be your man Puna Ford right here, straight up over the nose. Hey, look, Bobby Wagner back in the building. Bobby and Jaron Reed back at it again. And Jaron Jordan Brooks right here as well, right? Uh, some of the same cast of characters right here. Quandre Diggs, right, with a different jersey number there. But he had Rasheen Green um, at the defensive end five technique spot. And then Alton Robinson, right? I saw that he was recently... Uh, release there and then KJ Wright. Well, I don't feel like KJ Wright could still play ball to this day. He should have just kept playing. Who cares? Just play, right? So, if you see there, our front alignment here, his goal back then was to one gap penetrate. You can see here running with that flow, he was just going to attack the gap right there. Look at the FBI on this cat, right? Didn't fall for the cheese. He's the only cat to not fall for the cheese. Forces Garrett Jared Goff to mission abort that right there. And you can see right here, they both. Look at that, they were they caught a slant to the right, you could tell by um, how they reacted there. They were gonna get in that gap, but he immediately bends it back and then keeps his eyes upfield right there. And look at that, he doesn't go for the outside cheese, none of that, the play action, he's on it. But you can see right there, straight up, uh, that's where that man was posted at. Uh, that's actually a pretty big deal, depending on how they're gonna run the scheme there. So I would imagine you put a guy like that on the nose, uh, you can't really expect him to catch like your boy Al Woods there. Might be a lot of gap penetrating on the nose, right? Maybe they're trying to throw some people off. I apologize for the angle on this one. Uh, you'll see here, I believe it's Puna Ford again, shaded with that tilted nose right here. You'll get Reed right at his three technique spot. And you can see him battling and battling and battling and shooting up field right here until he gets to Jared Goff, who has an evacuation plan. Look at this. Uh, Jerry Goff on the evacuation. Nope. Can't do it. Look at my man right there battling, getting himself a sack. Look at that. He's a powerful cat too. So you wonder about that, the versatility of a cat like that. A little later on in his career, being able to switch positions on and going to where you can see him right pushing the 
pushing the lineman back into the, the right guard, into the left, sorry, the left guard right into the lap of the quarterback, switches off of him, starts working against the tackle, and he's surveying. You can see he's surveying. He knows Jared Goff, if he has nowhere to go right there, is going to have to flush either to his side or through some gaps there. And he's there waiting, <laughs> waiting in his arms, right? Jared Goff is running into his arms like a wife to her husband. All right, last one right here, and then you guys have to let me know what you think about Reed to the nose. So we see them in their fabricated pressure scheme. I'm not sure if there's anyone in front of Bobby Wagner here, but essentially he's the guy um, responsible for those gaps there. Uh, you got Puna Ford at a three technique here. Carlos Dunlap, right? <laughs> Remember, he was all the rage that season. He came in and instantly uh, transformed that defense. Him and this cat right here, the president, Jamal Adams. You can see Adams out here, Rasheen Green. But look at your boy, Jaron Reed, this time, right, at a 4-I, right? Pretty much a 5-technique, right? To me, that's his best position. I like him even better as one of these guys who is about 300 pounds playing more of a 5-technique exterior type, right? And, of course, uh, you got, uh, like I said before, everybody pretty much crashing right here. So, but look at your boy showing that quickness here. Look at that. Arm under. Got the power. Him and the president get into your boy Josh Allen on that one right there. So you're having this guy at the nose. I know a lot of people going to be like, well, he may not be the same player as he was a, a few seasons ago or whatever like that. And he had six and a half sacks at the time. So uh, you never know. Maybe this is a, a, a better deal for him right there to be able to be reduced down, not have to worry about gaps as much. Or maybe they're going to uh, evolve the scheme to where there's a little bit more gap penetrating for the interior defense lineman. This is a smooth move right here, right? Size him up, show presence in that gap, and then with, with the duck under, right? The arm under move right there, and he's standing tall and talented with it. That's all power. He's not even bending, and he's still able to get around there. That's a powerful man, ladies and gentlemen. Jaron Reed, your new nose tackle. And I know they got the cat Cam Young as well. I think he's around the same size there, so it must be something different, man, instead of having the big... Guys, like I was thinking about like a Siaki Ika, one of these 340, 350-pound types. It's 2022. I mean, it's 2023, so things are definitely changing. And uh, we shall see how that evolves right there. But let me know, man, what you think about Jaron Reed playing the nose tackle position. That's hard. Him, of course, your boy Draymond Jones. You know, some of the other guys, the cast of characters that they already have in there. It's gonna be some it's gonna be some dudes up on that defensive line, no doubt about that. I right. but it's your boy Jersey Murph. Make sure you tip your waiter because you know I'll be serving that hibachi. Salute to everybody out there, baby. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.